Hello everyone, welcome to Little Crafts. Today in this video, I'm going to show you what are the basic shapes of quilling and I'll teach you to do it. So come on, let's move on. First, I'll teach you to do a tight coil. Take the quilling tool and the quilling strip. Insert the quilling strip in the tool and start to roll it. After that, remove the tight coil from the tool gently and carefully. Apply the glue and stick it. The tight coil is ready. Now I'll teach you to do a loose coil. So first, make a tight coil. After making the tight coil, loose the tight coil. And then apply the glue and stick it. The loose coil is ready. Now I'll teach you to do a teardrop. So make a loose coil and then bring the center towards one end and press the other end. Apply the glue and stick it. Teardrop is done. Now let's learn making leaf shape quilling. Make a loose coil and press it both the ends. Leaf shape quilling is ready. Now let's learn bend a teardrop. For that make a teardrop and then from the top part just bend it as shown. Bended teardrop has been done. Now let's learn how to make leaf teardrop quilling. Make a teardrop and from the bottom just pinch it. Now let's make bended leaf quilling. So first make a leaf shape quilling and press at both the ends in opposite direction. It's done. Now let's make curved teardrop. First make a teardrop. From the top using the tweezer just twist it. Now let's learn to make a square quilling. First we need to make a leaf quilling and then turn it 90 degree that is perpendicular and then press it again to make a leaf shape and then bring it to the shape of square. We have done with square quilling. Now let's make diamond quilling. Do the same process what we have done for making the square quilling. At last, press opposite sides to bring the shape of diamond. It's done. Now let's learn to make a semicircle. Press the both ends of the loose coil so that we'll get a semicircle. Now let's learn to do a 
curved semicircle press both the ends and bend from the center to get a curved semicircle now let's do a triangle quilling for that press both the ends of a loose coil and the top of the loose coil to get a triangular quilling now let's learn rectangle quilling for that make a leaf shape and then turn it slightly and press it again and bring the shape to a rectangle the rectangle quilling has been done now let's do arrow quilling make a tear drop from bottom press it towards the top part as shown and press the end Now let's make a tulip shape quilling. For that make a tear drop and from the bottom part press it towards the top part as shown using your two fingers. It has been done. To make a star quilling, place the loose coil in between your hands and pinch it. at five sides it's little difficult task but it can be done with patience i have done the star quilling now let's learn to make a one point loose coil for that make a loose coil and apply glue at one end and bring the center towards the part where you have applied the glue and hold it for some time now let's do heart shape quilling for that make a tear drop and from the bottom part using your tweezer push it towards the top part as shown and do not pinch both the ends To make a ring shape quilling, take an object which is in cylindrical shape and I have taken a wooden block which is smaller in size and place the quilling strip and apply the glue at the beginning of the strip and start to roll it. After rolling remove the quilling strip from the cylindrical object apply the glue and stick it it's done hope you all would have enjoyed and learned please subscribe my channel share my video and address your comments in the comment section thank you